how do you get horse experience before you actually take the plunge into leasing or purchasing your first horse? And maybe right now, you know, lessons financially are kind of out of the question, or maybe you are taking lessons, but you just don't feel like you're getting a whole lot of growth week after week. There's one really important detail that I want to share with you at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned until then. One is to call local stables and boarding facilities, um, therapeutic riding centers, uh, trail riding businesses, and see if there's volunteer opportunities. You know, see if they need help with mucking out stalls, turning out horses, blanketing, medicating, feeding. You know, usually these places will have people that are hired for this purpose but sometimes they are looking for help. You will often have multiple horse businesses or farms operating at that stable. So you may have a um, eventing business, you may have a dressage business, you may have a, a few freelance trainers, you may have a therapeutic riding center, all of whom are operating at one barn or stable. And you still may wanna reach out to the people in charge of each of those individual businesses because they may have opportunities or may be looking for help that the stable manager isn't aware of. Another potential opportunity to get horse experience would be to reach out to your local horse rescues and your animal shelters. Again, it takes doing a little bit of research, going on the websites, making some phone calls. If they have a volunteer coordinator, that would be the person that you would reach out to. And it's not until you actually reach out and make those connections that you find out what kind of opportunities actually exist. I would also look into contacting your local horsemen's association or riding clubs, especially if there's a particular discipline that you're looking to get into or that you think you might be interested in, uh, because you can meet all kinds of really cool people that way. And a lot of times these folks have multiple horses. And so if you start building relationships and letting people know that you're interested in getting horse experience, Maybe you can find a mentor. Again, if you've got a sport that you like, uh, for example, the AERC, which is the American Endurance Ride Conference, is a strictly volunteer-based organization for endurance riding. And they're always looking for volunteers for rides, whether that's taking notes for the vet or helping out at the beginning or the finish of the races. It's a great opportunity to get around a lot of different horses and a lot of different horse people. And if they're not, you know, in the middle of the zone trying to prepare for their race, people are very often, you know, willing to answer questions about their horses. People love to offer their opinions. Um, so that's another great way to connect with horse people and maybe find some volunteer opportunities. When the world opens back up and COVID hasn't shut down every major event, I would also be looking at uh, horse expos and festivals. If you're interested in showing, whether that's dressage or competitive trail or extreme trail, Western pleasure, etc., they all have events of some kind. And so that could be another opportunity for you to volunteer and get around other horse people and make some connections. And then of course there is online. Uh, there's Craigslist, although I would encourage you to be careful on Craigslist. There may be a local online forum in your area. I know in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, we have a website called Bay Equest that is sort of a cra horse Craigslist for this particular area. And then social media. Personally, my experience has been that Instagram is great for connecting with individual horse owners. But if you're looking to actually connect with groups, uh, Facebook seems to really be where it's at. A lot of horse organizations, even if they don't maintain their website super well, will often have some kind of presence on Facebook. The thing I wanted to mention to you, kind of the big encouragement that I wanted to share, is that getting into horses and sort of breaking into the horse world, whatever that looks like for you, whatever discipline you're interested in, it is not like finding a yoga class, as I'm sure you've probably experienced. It's not where you can go online, read the Yelp reviews, and find all the rates and prices and figure out the times for classes it tends to be a little more ambiguous than that. And my experience has been that it's a very relational hobby or industry. It's a lot about who you know. It's a lot about making connections. You know, yes, people and businesses are online, but a lot of times the opportunities that you're looking for are not gonna be posted on a website. They're not even maybe gonna be posted on social media. It's about making connections with people. And so I would just encourage you, if it feels a little bit intimidating or it feels a little bit daunting, I totally get it. 
I have felt the same way and I still sometimes very much feel that way. But there is absolutely room for you and there is absolutely a place for you to get the horse experience that you need. Uh, it just may take some time. Uh, be diligent, be kind, be friendly, uh, and follow up with people. The horse you're looking for, the, the trainer you're looking for, the opportunities that you're looking for, you get a huge leg up the more you know people and put out there what it is that you're looking for. If you have more questions or other thoughts, or if you've managed to secure an awesome horse opportunity that you'd like to share with folks as an idea, definitely leave a comment down below. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.